Hey, 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 what's good guys? It's your boy Dizo from Shades and Souls. And today, I know it's looking like an unboxing and the way I do my unboxings, but this is actually my real review for the shoe. And the only reason why I'm doing it in an unboxing way is because I didn't do it justice and I didn't have an unboxing video for this. So before we get to it, let's hear that intro. So if it's your first time here, thank you for coming to watch my video. If you're a repeat viewer, thank you for coming again. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help my channel grow. If you want to be notified for new videos such as this, make sure to hit that bell button as well. Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Nike Zoom KD12's real review. By the way, this is an 8 half. That is my true to size. It's just the retail price is 150 So, if you're new to the channel, real review is when I talk about the shoes as a regular consumer, buying my own shoes and my own money, telling you guys how the shoes really work and my true experience with it. So you can best believe there is no bias, no nothing like that, because I spent my own money with this stuff too, all right? As you can see, it's a translucent outsole, but I tell you what, this translucent outsole for a Nike shoe really works, okay? Like, I did, I never had issues with the traction on this shoe in any type of court. Clean, dirty, dusty, whatever. It, it just works. For some reason, they, they nailed the uh, translucent outsole on this one. The only downfall to this type of rubber is that you can't use it outdoors. Next, we go to the midsole and cushioning of the shoe. So as you can see, there is this translucent rubber right here, which acts as a cage, but within that cage is this phylon rubber, this white portion, you can see that. That goes around the, the shoe same same with the translucent rubber and then within that phylon rubber is actually a full-length zoom acting as a strobe board for the shoe and underneath that full-length zoom that's acting as a strobe board is a hex zoom unit on the heel portion and one interesting part of that phylon midsole that's encasing all that zoom bag is that it has holes right there in the middle. And the reason for that is because there is no room for expansion. When, you're, when the rubber compresses, there is no room for expansion right here because it is covered with this translucent outsole extending to the midsole as a cage. So those circles right there is the area where the rubber compresses. So it compresses within the middle portion of the shoe instead of compressing and then pushing the rubber outside or to the lateral portion and the middle portion of the shoe. So that's the reasoning for that. And I will tell you right now, same as how the traction works, the midsole cushioning of the shoe is one of the best that Nike has done so far. That is my experience, that is my opinion. You may have a different experience than I did, but man, full length zoom is the way to go most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, if, especially if it's implemented correctly. Granted, I know I mentioned earlier there's a hex unit in the heel, but honestly, to me, really didn't matter. Whatever I did write down on my initial impressions on my IG, go read that. Um, because the performance 
or the real review that I do have for the shoe is really, really close to that initial impressions that I wrote down about the KD12s. So if you have time, go ahead and read that because that I'm just reiterating most of, most of what I wrote down. They actually wrote down here what the material of the upper is and it's a quad axial flywire for multi-directional dynamic containment. So what is the QAF? QAF is this is the strands right here. Like you can see there's there's a strand and then there's a strand that crisscrosses. Here's a picture of how that looks. So that actually is like fly wire for your entire foot instead of just having fly wire connected or um, laced up with the laces so when you pull that portion that specific fly wired area is going to be tightening up instead of just some specific areas the quad or the QAF is actually all providing the uh, support of the upper so I hope that kind of made sense to you guys I'm really trying my best to explain it the way how I understand it and how I was feeling uh, the materials work all together now one other thing I don't like oh the QAF that's one portion of the materials that I like but what I don't like is just this portion right here the mesh the mesh portion like um, I'm pretty sure they have some woven material left or something like that like I would really prefer the uppers to be woven um, they also have this portion right here it's a fused material but it's not really hard you know it, rather than it just serves as protection of the shoe this portion right here I hate this um, this is an eight half but for some reason, this extends too long for me on both sides. So I'm already gonna have supposed to stop here, but then I have an extra space right here. So I'm pretty used to uh, moving my f both my foot quickly. And at times when I'm tiptoeing, I feel some drags right here when I really don't like to drag um, the tip portion of my toes also another material uh, that I find weird with the shoe is this material right here if I can remember I oh man of course I remember look at this material man guys would know like this material you can find this material in the women's panties man like Come on bro like come on the, the first time I looked at it in person I thought it was a cut from women's panties all right that's that's just me I don't know about you guys but that's just me all right on to the inside of the shoe inside of the shoe is I, I because of the QAF I actually feel like the upper the upper the upper holds its own man like it really does hold you down it supports the hell out of your anterior portion of the foot and your lateral and medial portion of the upper foot it's like it just holds it down all together the kd12s bro the kd12s is one of the best nike has released this year okay um, along with that, I would have to say the Jordan 34s as well, the Nike Rise or the Zoom Rise. These are the top shoes that Nike has so far. And depending on the way how your foot is, me personally, the only reason why this will not be at the top of my Nike for this year would be because of how it fits okay if you guys know this shoe is specifically designed for this dude right here Kevin Wayne Durant if you guys have seen this guy's 
foot? Bro, you would understand what the hell I'm talking about. It, I have a normal foot, okay? Or at least I'd like to think I have a normal foot. And that's the reason why, despite all the good features about this shoe, despite all the praises I can give with this shoe, one thing I'm not is a narrow footer. That's that's just the reality of it. Despite how good it is, despite how the materials are top notch, except for the mesh, of course, and the panties right here and the tongue. I just can't give it that top spot because personally, this does not fit me right. Does it perform good? Yes, it really does. Does it fit me right? No, it doesn't. Because if I do like it, I was already complaining of the top portion of the toes. Imagine if I had to go half size up just to compensate for my normal foot. How much more for the wide footers? So that's just me. Uh, this is the real review for the KD12s. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have a different experience or a similar experience, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and we can talk about shoes, man. We can talk about how um, how this shoe was for you or whatever. You can just go back and forth. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help my channel grow. Um, comment down below if you need to ask me anything or talk about something. And make sure to hit that bell button if you guys want to be notified for new videos such as this. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. And I will see you guys soon. Peace out.